Hi everyone, I'm Jen, and I have not been wearing that much color lately. I feel good wearing gray, like, <laughs> I wore this to school today. I've been in this phase where I've been only sticking to blacks, whites, and grays, and I'm okay with that, so I'm gonna create a video about it. So if you're also in a very colorless mood in your life, this video is gonna be totally relevant to you. And yeah, I did put some pops of color here and there, but for the most part, it's gonna be black and white. And if you stick towards the end of the video, there's gonna be a giveaway. This first look kind of reminded me of frosting on a cake, so I titled it Let Them Eat Cake. For my top, I'm wearing this black crop top that has this cool embellished white embroidery all over the edge. I thought it'd be really interesting to have the end of the shirt seamlessly transition to my lace bottoms, so it kind of gives the illusion that I'm wearing a romper, but I'm not. For shoes, I slipped into my extremely chunky black wedges because I don't think I'd feel right styling such a feminine outfit without wearing a heavy brick looking boot. And to add a little bit of color, I added my wine hat. This next look is something I definitely wear to school because it's laid back and it has that extra oomph because of this top. This shirt is really oversized and has this gnarly geometric star shaped print on it and it's covered in glitter so it looks really fancy but I try to make it more casual by wearing these black distressed skinnies. They have these huge gashes on the knee and I'm not sure what sparked this liking of mine but I love it! And I think that's the exact reason why I'm scared to say what trends I don't like because chances are I'm going to wear that trend a few years later. For boots, I'm wearing these western looking ones from Jeffrey Campbell and to add a little tint of color, I went ahead for my mustard beanie. This is the outfit that I wore to my closet sale a few weeks ago and for those who showed up, I want to thank you all for coming. It was lovely meeting you and putting a face to a few of my viewers. Anyway, the slinky gray dress is paper thin and ideal for those steamy summer days and it's got an asymmetrical hemline. And I wanted to add a 90s element by wearing my black chunky buckled boots. For accessories, I just piled on some silver necklaces. This one is from a flea market and this one is from Miss Kale. It's a cool bird skull and the last necklace is just a bunch of geometric shapes and it's from PacSun. To hide from the UV rays, I plopped on my go-to black sun hat which is equipped with really quirky pendants all along the brim. I get total festival vibes from this look and it's probably due to the fact that I'm wearing a floral headband. This floral crown is from Urban Outfitters and I think it just helps feminize the entire look. My shirt is this long sleeve blouse with a you know nifty cutout on the shoulder. There's only one cutout so it adds kind of an unexpected flair. For shorts, I'm wearing these patterned denim cutoffs with these distressed ends and I belted it with this old thrifted find. It's this white trusty belt that I always wear. For shoes, I thought my black Doc Martens would just go awesome with the outfit. Formal occasions always just kind of sneak up behind you, so it's really important to have a little black dress in stock for situations like that. And this black dress is cool because there's just a variety of textures on it. It's quite sheer and it has some stripes on the top and the skirt is completely opaque. In order to breathe some life in this outfit, I accessorized it with this fringe gold necklace. And for shoes, I just slipped on my go-to classic pumps from Marshalls. And to add some color to my face, I slapped on a bright pink on my lips. Okay, okay, okay. 
My last outfit could either be a look for going out or a costume. I kind of just whipped this outfit on the spot and I think the outcome is cool. I like the whole leather daddy vibe that I have. And I'm wearing a cropped moto jacket and underneath I'm wearing this long sleeve houndstooth bodycon dress. And I've always been a huge fan of houndstooth so wearing a dress completely in that print just makes me very very happy. For accessories I thought I'd play around with this brimmed hat. And lastly, for shoes, I decided on my sporees. The Lucite heel just brings these heels to a completely different level. They're one of my favorite shoes. Congratulations, you get to hear the giveaway rules. We're giving away this black crop top. It's embellished and it's really cute. It's one of my favorite pieces by Runway Bandits and this is how you can win it. Number one, you're going to be a subscriber to this channel, which is Close Encounters. Number two, you're gonna like Runway Bandit's Facebook page. And if you don't have Facebook, remember you can always just create one for the sole purpose of the giveaway. You don't have to put your real name. You don't even have to add a picture or add any of your real friends. It can just be for the giveaway so that way you maintain your privacy and you can you can participate in this giveaway. Number three, you're gonna see a picture of me wearing that crop top and you're going to like and share that photo. And the last step is to comment on it and say I heart Runway Bandits and Close Encounters to indicate that you have entered the giveaway. And those are the rules. Please check the description box for additional details and the links to the items that I've featured in this video. If you have an Instagram, my username is I'm Janim. Feel free to follow me if you'd like and I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!